Why do we self-source? Well, I often say self-sourcing is the most important key to one living, like feeling like we're thriving, but to thriving relationships and connection in our life. Because how often have we gone into a situation trying to get something from someone else because our cup was half empty or completely empty. So we're grasping at other people thinking they're responsible for fulfilling our needs in that moment. Yet if I can be self-sourced and to feel connected to my body, my spirit, all parts of my, my being, I'm going to enter those relationships, whether that's with a friend, whether that's with a colleague or a lover, with more vitality, with less grasping, but more to share in in that um, relational field. And so when I choose self-sourcing, it's what do I want to create in my field? What do I want to create in my environment? Connection. Or do I want to create separation? Well, if we're feeling separated from us first thing when we wake up and we rush into our day, we're going to feel separated often in everything we do. And I apologize. I see the lights coming in and out to my video. So I want to start my day feeling connection. For me, it's feeling connection to me, my body, my spirit, my ancestors, and that's what I invite you into, whether that's five minutes, 30 minutes, or for me, like my first client of the day or work of the day is at 11 a.m. to find your unique way of self-sourcing. And I'm excited today to share with you my new book, Revolutionizing Intimacy. And the first half of this book is all about the self and intimacy. And I see it as a blueprint, as a blueprint of shifting how we relate in the world today and how we navigate connection when we feel disconnected. And remember, yes, it all starts with us. 